Hello and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> a quick video talking about becoming a makeup artist and there are pros and cons definitely to becoming a makeup artist i i just wanted to give a few pros and cons and my best advice and then if you guys want me to do a series of like what a kit should look like a video like doing client makeup and like kind of do step by step like a longer video i can um but if that's boring i i won't do that <laughs> Pros are you get to be creative every single day. Two, you get to do something different every single day. You get to work with really cool brands and go work on like collaborations and work with modeling agencies. And it's like a lot of fun that you always have that wedding gift to someone. <laughs> If somebody ever is getting married that you know, just be like, hey, I'll do your and your mom's makeup. <laughs> it's your wedding gift. <laughs> Some cons are in the beginning, you are a broke bitch, you know? Like that's just the the fact. Like I you don't make a lot of money. You have to do multiple things. Like in the beginning, you kind of need to have a form of income. For I, I worked retail for the first like eight months that I decided to dedicate the majority of my time to being a makeup artist, all while getting my master's degree. Another con is that you are in charge of your own kit. You have to pay for everything. You have to pay for all the eyeshadow palettes. You have to stay up to date with the trends and make sure that you have all brushes and make sure that you have always all the hygiene stuff. Pay for your business cards. You have to do everything. I mean, it's you're, you're running your own business, which is also a pro because you're in charge of yourself. There are slow times in the season. Like I can go a whole month without having a single client and then the next month I'll have like 12 and I'll be, be able to pay for my next two months rent and every month is different no steady income like I remember one month I did a one wedding that paid for my rent and the next month you're like oh, okay I need to do this $60 job for that girl who's going to prom and I gotta go to do my client in Malibu for $125 and then I gotta go over here and I, I told that person that I would do their makeup for $80 because they recommended me to like 10 people and you just have to like keep track of everything in your head. There's like a lot of pros and cons to it but for me if you are finding joy in doing makeup and you love making people feel good about themselves and you are starting to build a kit like hell yeah like have a side hustle and then if it turns into something amazing let it turn into something amazing not only manifest it but you have to put in the work like I can't even tell you the amount of hours that I've spent like just working on my Instagram like making sure like oh, okay so I've I posted a picture of myself and then I posted a collaboration shoot with a modeling agency, which I'll get to. I have posted pictures of a friend and then now a wedding and then a before and after. And then you have to make sure that you're showing lots of different things so that when let's say your cousin recommends her yoga instructor to get her makeup done by you for her wedding, there better be options and there better be somebody on that in, on your Instagram that looks like her. That is kind of the first recommendation is like, just get your Instagram pop in and if you don't already have a makeup um, artistry designated Instagram, I would definitely recommend doing that. I recommend doing business accounts because you can see your analytics and see if you're doing well and if people are saving your work and able to promote your posts. And that's only if you have like the budget for it, but I'm just saying that's like an option. But I really like being able to see my consumer insights and seeing like, okay, uh i'm like a lot of my demographic is in my area or it's in la and i that's what i want i want i want people that are in my area so that i get booked for things yeah. and so the second thing that i would recommend doing is kind of a few things i would recommend reaching out to photographers model agencies and salons and stylists and the reason why i'm saying reach out to all these people is because they all want to do collaborations too and they all need makeup artists because most of the time hairstylists don't know how to do makeup and most of the time makeup artists do not know how to do hair example number one i like you don't want me touching your hair like i can kind of do my own hair but i i suck like i'm not good at doing hair it's not my it's not my gift I'm like hey if you're ever doing a collaboration shoot please let me know i would love i can bend over backwards i'll make it work in my schedule and if you ever need an assistant if any of your your makeup artists that you already have working with you need assistance please let me know just get as much experience in as you can photographers are some of the most supportive people you will ever meet like i can't even tell you a photographer that i've worked with that hasn't been like hey next time i'm in town we should do this this or this or there's so many amazing people in this industry that you 
you just have to reach out and just say hi. Message me. If you live in LA or if you live in Southern California and you want to assist me, like let me know. But you better believe I'm doing this shit for free when I go do collaboration shoots that you're not going to get paid. And that's what kind of sucks about it. But I have gotten paid work from recommendations from photographers, from recommendations from the hairstyles that I've worked from shoots that the modeling agency has connected me with. And so it just all ends up working out, but you have to just like decide what's worth it and what's not. It, it's a day by day thing. It's not like something where you just can buy success, you know? Okay, so I guess the last thing is like answering the question of should I become certified? California, you don't technically have to be certified to practice being a makeup artist. But if you want, there are like really cheap, um, certification courses that you can just get it for a few hundred dollars and you're able to get the discount at places like Nigel's, Naomi, even brands like uh, Makeup Forever or NARS, like they do discounts for makeup artists. And MAC requires a few other um, certifications like you need like a website or pub published work. But it's just kind of, it, the money will make itself back if you're planning on having a huge kit. It's not completely necessary in the beginning. If you wanna get started as a makeup artist and you have a job right now, start doing everyone's makeup that you know. Like literally do your mom, do your auntie, if you don't have your mom and auntie there, do your friends, do your boyfriend, do your girlfriend. Like people on your Instagram, like, hey, like I'm trying to do three different looks, like here's my inspiration board. If anybody's down for like a, a photo shoot, like please, can you let me know? I would love to do your makeup. Just to ask, like what's the worst that could happen? You know what the worst that could happen is that you quit your job and then you don't have a backup plan and you have no clients. It's really rewarding to work with people that are in the creative industry and just see their perspective and go into it as a nice, excited person to meet people. Don't go into it being like thinking that you're better than anybody because you're not. There's always gonna be a makeup artist better than you. Heck, I just watched uh, Makeup by Mario's makeup that he did on James Charles and I like took my breath away. You better believe I'm gonna have tape pulling back my skin like how Mario did on James Charles with the tape like that kind of snatches you. Just don't go into it like that. Like everybody has something to offer. You're gonna learn techniques from everybody. I hope that you guys all have a great day. But yeah, I'll leave it on this note. Um, you are amazing and you are going to be successful and um, it is all in your head. Like just go for it. Go for it, be your best self, but don't just quit your job out of nowhere, you know? <laughs> so yeah, or, or do, live your life, don't listen to me, okay?